Welcome back to the channel everyone and in today's video I'm going to be going over my start into the AI Red Teamer pathway for Hack the Box and give my uh, overview on just from what I assess in the beginning going over some of the modules just reading them and then I'll do one when I finish the pathway as well to completion. So with that being said let's dive right in. So as you can see, I finished the first module already. I've been dabbling into a couple of them. I got like a couple percentages done into these two, but I haven't completed it. It's a small percentage. Um, why have I decided to do this course? Number one, I hate the term artificial intelligence or AI because it is not AI. Uh, it is more of a LLM, but whatever, you can't stop the roaring of the mainstream sheeple so that is it is what it is the ai red teamer job role path this for those that know i am doing the cape i am almost done with the cape and i'll be doing a video on that on my completion of the cape i only need two more modules but i did start them over uh just because i stopped for a while and i want to get back into it and knock this exam out uh just before i get into back into these modules while at black hat uh, i spoke with um Hack the box. They were there. They shared. They did a multi or a joint booth with uh, Hacker One, so it was a little hard to find them at first. Uh, let's talk to a couple of the engineers about this. Why is there only so few? Is there your plans on having a certification? There is. It should be out sometime November, December. As far as the certs, they are releasing them out slowly, so it might even extend out. However, the key thing about this with the AI Red Teamer, they are working in hand in hand with Mandiant on the actual training and the actual certification itself. So, which is actually a good thing is, you know, Google Mandiant are really, really stepping up their artificial intelligence, uh, AI Red Teamer specs and scopes, especially on their red teaming engagements. For those that actually use Mandiant for uh, external red team engagements, they are pretty, pretty badass. Um, and currently where I work at, they use them as well. They're also actually prepping for one coming up within the next 30 days, a surprise one again. So this one, uh, just going off of that right there, I am sold AI. Uh, and I am going to do some other AI certs. God, I hate calling it that. But as far as offensive security <clears throat> and even on the threat hunting side, that's going to be my main bread and butter when it comes to AI. I might dabble into the Azure, the AWS, uh, at least up to the engineering one. I think that's the there's practitioner, then engineering, and then I forgot uh, what the others are after that. But I might just go up to that route as needed. But again, as far as my bread and butter, it's going to be on the offensive security and threat hunting side when it comes to AI, because uh, this is going to be too much shit to do. Uh, and I, there's other stuff that I need to get done as well, especially going on my own, uh, building that up. So pretty much the fundamentals of AI, uh, this is the one I completed. It's pretty basic. It goes over the, just the basic concrete foundations of AI, artificial intelligence, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, next, we got applications of AI in InfoSec. This one's pretty, pretty good uh, breakdown, uh, more of a deep dive. Uh, into the AI and how it plays its role and uh, it expands on its role, not just for today, but for tomorrow into the realm of InfoSec. Uh, then next we got the introduction of red teaming AI or introduction to red teaming AI, uh, red teaming artificial intelligence. Um, you know, this provides a comprehensive introduction to the role of red teaming, artificial intelligence, AI and systems utilizing machine learning deployments. It covers overview of common security vulnerabilities in these systems. Uh, and again, so this is just a basic concrete foundation on how this, uh, how AI or how red teaming rolls into AI. So it's going to give you some of the, you know, top 10 vulnerabilities, if that basic stuff, um, basic kind of attacks, um, you know, that kind of sort of thing. And then as you go down, it's going to get more and more and more granular and tech, tech, Technical, Jesus Christ, this early in the morning. Prompt injection. So this is pretty much where you're able to create a prompt and have it spit, spit back stuff that it's not supposed to, confidential information, uh, maybe some kind of leakage if it's not secure on the back end. This is the, 
this is going to be, you know, the base start of actual getting into the nuts and bolts of the AI red teaming stuff. Next is going to be LLM output attacks. Uh, explore different LLM output vulnerabilities resulting from improper handling of LLM outputs and insecure LLM applications. We will also touch on LLM abuse attacks, such as hate speech campaign, misinformation generation. So if you guys remember that stuff that came out with, I think it was Google, where they pretty much were trying to do the whole woke crap, and um, it spit out that black people were Nazis and all that crazy shit. I'm not sure if that was done from an attack standpoint, but again, this is why I do not like the term artificial intelligence because this is LLM. It has to learn and build itself up. Artificial intelligence, I guess a lot of people forgot Terminator, um, is me taking my brain and replicating it at, to a complete where it's an actual human entity, but in the form of a technical embodiment, right? It's... Yeah, I don't get it. But anyway, that is <laughs> that is what that kind of stuff is. And again, I guess people forgot to, you know, watch Terminator. But for those that remember what that happened with Google, they actually shut it down and redid some stuff on the back end. I didn't read too much into it after that. I was just laughing because this kind of shit's going to happen all the time. And again, also I always touch on these financial firms, real estate agents, tax people that are just throwing in any kind of quote unquote AI technology without it even being validated or properly tested. You're going to get a lot of stuff like this coming back at you. But also if you have an, a threat actor or some kind of a hack, hacker gets into your system or your network, they're also going to be able to get that sensitive data from your clients, right? Especially if you're doing tax, financial, et cetera. So just something to be aware about. AI data attacks. This module explores the intersection of data and artificial intelligence, exposing how vulnerabilities within AI data pipelines can be exploited, ultimately aiming to degrade performance, achieve spec uh, specific misclassifications, or execute arbitrary quote code. Jesus Christ. So in other words, like for people that use cloud, where a lot of these things are going to be um, pulling and piping data from in and outbound, uh, I haven't really read into this, but I'm going to assume, at least from, from my experience where I'm at currently, this is going to be some kind of data lake uh, issue, uh, especially from a cloud standpoint. I'm not sure how it's going to look on-prem, but you're going to be looking at something like that, which is actually great because um, unless you dive deep into I think Pong Labs actually touches on it uh, a bit, but data lakes is, is really, really taking off. Um, and yeah, you're going to see a lot of this stuff in there uh, from the AI data attacks, especially as we grow more and more down the AI timeline. And these two are the newest ones that were added, attacking AI application and system, AI evasion foundation. So as I said, you know, they're slowly releasing out these courses as they work hand in hand with Mandiant. Uh, they are getting these things, uh, you know, both again, they're both working on them. They're both signing off on them. And again, I'm glad they're working with someone like Mandiant because I know they're just from working with them from an external standpoint, their AI or AI and red teaming um, stuff is to the T and what you need to know. And I, and I say that because I'm looking at this AI stuff. God, I hate that. From a red teaming offensive security standpoint, nothing else. Um, again, that's why I am sold on this training and I am going to go down the path. I'm dabbling in it a little bit as I still, like I said, I'm starting over the the cape just to get that ramped up, muscle memory back in, re redefine my notes, and I'm going to hit that exam running soon. Uh, but I am dabbling this in my spare time um, and taking notes. And then as soon as cape's done, I might... Uh, if, if something doesn't come out with an exam or they don't finish the pathway, then I'm going to go straight into the CWEE. If not, I might just knock this out first because I do want to get my, my web stuff hammered down to the T. So pretty much that's it for the video, guys. I just wanted to touch on this and where I'm going um, and why I am sold on this training um, and why uh, this is going to be thrown into my attack path or offensive security certification path. Again, I don't know if it comes out in uh, November, December, as soon as I'm done with CAPE, I am going to finish this and take that exam. If not, it'll obviously be next year. But that was a timeline they gave to me at Black Hat, speaking with uh, Hack, uh, Hack the Box uh, there with a couple of their engineers and uh, one of their account staff. So 
again, that's it for the video, guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, have a great week. And uh, yeah, I might, I'm trying to go live. I got a little hectic last week and some of the other projects going down the line. Training, kids, football, working out. Uh, yeah, it's been rough. So um, I will try to do a live on Wednesday. Um, if not, after next week, because I got to leave to California on Thursday, I will definitely be back to normal next week. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.